Welcome to Walden Hall, home of the Math Tutoring Center and the Math Testing Center. The Tutoring Center is located in Walden Hall, room 101, up the stairs from Walden Hall 66, which is where most Math 120 classes meet. The Tutoring Center opens at 9 a.m. Monday through Friday. The Center closes at 8 p.m. Monday through Thursday and at 5 on Friday. Students may come in during those hours to study and ask questions. The Tutoring Center is not open on weekends. No appointments are needed for math tutoring, but students should sign in on one of the available laptops when they come in. Then, simply sit down at a table and open your books. The Tutoring Center is a place for you to work, with support available from math tutors. If you have a math problem that's giving you trouble, raise your hand and a tutor will come to assist you. Then the tutor will move on to help other students. Students from many math courses use the tutoring center. They know that the center is a good place to do homework and study for exams. You shouldn't be surprised if a tutor asks you which math course you're taking. Tutors need to know the course you're in so they can respond to your questions appropriately. The instructor on duty supervises the tutoring and testing center. If you have a question that tutors can't answer or need information about tutoring or testing center policy, Alex can help you. You may only take exams once, however, you may take quizzes twice. If you check out and review your first attempt, you will be allowed to retake another version of the quiz and the higher of the two scores will be used to calculate your grade in the course. The poster next to the test review window in the tutoring center explains the process of reviewing your quiz. Fill out a yellow form and then call the tutor by ringing the bell. You'll need a photo ID to check out your quiz. Your quiz is filed by section number so you'll need to know what section you're in. Once the tutor has located your quiz, you can take it to a table and review it. To ask for help with a problem, simply raise your hand. The tutor will be there shortly to assist you. Make sure that you understand your error and know how to correctly work the problem before retaking the quiz. Don't take your quiz home, it needs to stay in the tutoring center. If you want to take the quiz a second time, ask the tutor for a retake quiz ticket when you return your quiz to the test review window. After reviewing your quiz, you don't have to retake the quiz right away, but you may if you wish. The testing center is next door to the tutoring center in WH-102, and the hours are the same. The door into the testing center is locked one hour prior to closing, so you'll need to arrive before 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday and before 4 p.m. on Friday. Safety regulations prohibit taking backpacks, books, or any other large items into the testing center. Therefore, if you bring these items with you, you'll need to store them in the lockers located outside the testing center. Do not just hide your belongings behind an unlocked door. Bring a lock. Over the past 30 years, hundreds of items have been stolen from the lockers and not a single item has ever been recovered. You will need a quiz ticket, a photo ID, a pencil and eraser, and your graphing calculator to take a quiz. You'll also need to know your section number. If you've forgotten it, you can find it on the initial sheet in the testing center window. While it's best to leave your cell phone at home or locked in a locker, cell phones may be taken into the testing center as long as they're set to vibrate. Don't answer the phone in the testing center. You may step outside to the hall if you need to respond to an important call. Texting, taking photos, and using the calculator function on your cell phone are all prohibited in the testing center. If you don't want to buy a graphing calculator, you can rent one from the math department. Go to the information window in the tutoring center. After you fill out a form, your NMSU account will be billed $150.
When you return the calculator, at the end of the semester, $115 will be credited to your account. So the cost of running the calculator is $35. Graphing calculators will be used on all quizzes and in most class sessions, so make sure you have one to use throughout the semester. There is a lot of important information to be found here in your Blackboard course. Your instructor's contact information can be found at the bottom of the home page. The Overview folder contains the entire course syllabus and other important pages like the list of homework assignments. After practice quizzes are handed out in class, they'll also be available in the Quiz Review folder. You can contact your instructor through the Mail tab in Blackboard. Create a message, browse for your instructor's name, and then write your email. Don't forget to hit send. We hope you found this video helpful. The next step in your orientation is to take the orientation quiz. Then you'll be ready to head to the testing center and take the pretest. Don't forget your photo ID and a lock for the lockers. You won't need a calculator. We wish you a productive and rewarding semester and thank you for staying awake.